Ukrainian president pushes allies to increase aid and participate in war. Ukrainian president Vladimir Zelensky, during an interview with Reuters, complained that Western countries are taking too long to resolve important issues of military support for Ukraine, which cannot wait. Every decision that we and then everyone together comes to is delayed by about a year, said Zelensky. According to him, Kyiv is seeking from Western partners not only supplies of weapons but also more direct participation in the conflict. For example, the West should allow strikes on Russian troops amassed on the border or help intercept Russian missiles, Zelensky believes. The call to speed up aid and deepen Western involvement in the conflict reflects the growing pressure facing Ukrainian troops along more than 1,000 kilometers of front line, Reuters noted. An emotional Zelensky dressed in his familiar t-shirt and khaki trousers said the situation on the battlefield was one of the most difficult he had known since February 2022, the agency says. The publication recalls the successful offensive of Russian troops in the Kharkiv region, noting that this put the already tense defense of Kyiv in an even more difficult situation. Earlier, Zelensky said Russia could increase its attacks in Ukraine's northeast following its recent gains near the city of Kharkiv. Russian troops have been trying to push forward as Ukraine's outgunned forces attempt to shore up a weakened front line. Zelensky admitted that there were issues with military staffing and morale, saying a number of existing brigades were empty. He also told the AFP news agency the country's air fleet was lacking and renewed calls for allies to send more air defense and fighter jets. Today, we have about 25% of what we need to defend Ukraine, Zelensky said of Ukraine's air capabilities. So that Russia does not have air superiority, our fleet should have 120 to 130 modern aircraft. Russian forces recently began a summer offensive, grabbing a number of villages on Ukraine's northeastern frontier near Kharkiv, the country's second largest city. How did Iran's president's helicopter crash? New and shocking details. As it is known, on May the 19th, the helicopter carrying Iran's president, Ibrahim Raisi, Foreign Minister, Hossein Amir Abdullahian, Iranian Supreme Leader's representative for Tabriz, Mohammad Ali Ali Hashim, Governor of East Azerbaijan Province, Malik Remati, from Kudafarin to Tabriz, had a hard landing in Vazagan district. Nine people died as a result of the incident. How did the tragic incident happen? U.S. aviation expert Kyle Bailey commented on the details of the incident and the possibilities of its occurrence in his statement to Al Jazeera. According to him, if a serious technical problem occurs during the flight, the pilot's first task is to keep the plane in flight and establishing communication is secondary. Kyle Bailey added that the pilot did not make contact in the crash that killed the Iranian leader either. Because the pilot was probably too focused on landing the helicopter or keeping it in the sky, an aviation analyst described the lack of communication between the helicopter's pilot and another flight crew member as a serious control problem. Bailey noted that the helicopter was broken into two parts. From the fact that the helicopter was broken into two pieces, the tail rotor was likely sheared off, the result of the main rotor blade impacting the tail. This could have been caused by aerodynamic forces when the pilot maneuvered the helicopter to land or possibly a technical failure. Another, probably, a tail rotor failure. If we see a 360-degree counterclockwise spiral motion, that could indicate a tail rotor failure or out of control. The experts said that adverse weather conditions and mountainous terrain can also cause fatal accidents. Crashed Bell 212 helicopter is manufactured in the US. Bell helicopter developed the aircraft in the late 1960s as an upgrade of the original UH-1 Iroquois for the Canadian military. The most recent fatal crash of a Bell 212 was in September 2023 when a privately operated aircraft crashed off the coast of the United Arab Emirates, according to the Flight Safety Foundation, a non-profit focusing on aviation safety.